guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we've got another commercial plane, we've got a Boeing 777. So I'm finally getting through all the 7 something 7s and we've got this far. So this one is 77 blocks in length, 69 blocks wide and 19 high. It's actually pretty big and I've done a slightly different kind of engine design with this one. It's a lot bigger because the engines actually looked massive on the plane while I was looking at reference pictures. So the texture pack I'm going to be using is LD Modern for this tutorial and there is a download link in the description if you guys want to grab it. If not, it will work with every single texture pack that you've ever used or ever have used now. Um, I recommend using like the quartz or using white wool. And um, yeah, because you're going to need the actual quartz slabs. If for some reason you don't actually have the quartz slabs, which I have no idea why you wouldn't, you can always switch out for stone slabs. Now there are a couple doors as well that are on top of slabs so you guys on the console I don't believe you guys can actually uh, place doors on top of those. Just switch that out with a block. That's as simple as that or move the window or move the door one down onto one of those ones that you can do. So you can actually just switch that out pretty easily. Um, so yeah, I am not going to be showing you guys how to do this one in any sort of livery. A livery is basically just a cover, like a colour like British Airways or um, well, that kind of stuff. Like, and pretty much every country has its own and everything else. Uh, you know, like Ryanair, for example. Those kind of ones. I'm not going to be doing a natural colour. I will give you a blank slate and you guys can colour it in. So, it will give you a starting point, which um, I'm sure you guys will be able to, you know, mess around with it and, and get it to work how you want it really, really easily. So, um, so yeah, that, that'll be, you know, up to you what you want to do it. Because I can't show the million or something companies that there are that actually fly <laughs> airplanes. But yep, it's a pretty cool one. If you do use it on a map or server, please do give me credit for my design. Just shove up a sign saying designed by Lord Dacker. That really, really helps me out. Uh, what happens is if that's on a server and somebody sees it, they go, oh, cool, that's, that's a design by Lord Dacker. I'll check this guy out. And then you put a sign next to you and say, ah, oh, it was built by blah, 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 who was on the server. That's pretty awesome as well. Um, it really helps me out if, a guy, if one of those people actually comes and checks me out and it helps me get out there. And if I get that out there, I make more of these tutorials. So then it helps you guys. So... Think of it that way. It all helps the community and uh, also, you know, credits people for the designs because uh, you don't want to steal people's designs. That's just, uh, that ain't cool. Um, but anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this kind of rambly intro-y bit. Let's get started on this one. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is we're actually going to be, well, I'm going to be on this one on flat world. Uh, reason being that then you've got it with the wheels. Um, now, if you guys are building this one, yeah, which I know some of you guys will. Still put the wheels in for the time being, then when the entire build is finished, knock out the wheels. Uh, reason being that these I'll be using for reference points, I'll be like counting from here, you know, like on top of this one, plus a certain amount of blocks and then come back or, or whatever. I'll be using that as a reference very, very strongly through this, as I always do with mine, uh, my aircraft tutorials. But anyway, grab your black wall. What we're going to do is we're just going to go here like this. So you've just got a block gap between each of them, uh, each of them put another brick in between. A button on each of these sides, that's your wheels, your front wheels. Then just go up two times and then whack one back like that. So that's what you're going to have here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a 32 block gap. So use this plane in the background for reference. Uh, I tried to keep it in shot. I think I'm a little bit too far away at the minute, but you'll be able to use it later on. So what we're going to do from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So that's 32 blocks. Now add one to each of these sides. And then from here we're going to have three blocks on each side like that. This is why I do it with the slabs. It just shows you guys exactly where to place them. And then we're going to have another set of three here. And another three there. Put in some never brick fences. Never brick fences like that. Grab your buttons and obviously put those on. And also on the inside as well. There you go. Just makes it look a lot more wheel-like, even if it isn't. There you go. Get that. Like that. Now, I can't remember exactly how that connects in. I think it's just, yeah, just going two up. So right from this, just go one, two. I think that's two up. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. We'll see. Uh, if we have to change it, we have to change it. It doesn't really matter. But then get, around, uh, get rid of this uh, guide mark that you've got. That is it, though, for layers number one and number two. So let's get on to the next one. Okay, and now we're on to layer number three. So it, what we're going to do, if you guys come all the way to the back wheels that we got here, uh, we're just going to join this across with white wool. So it's going to be five going across here. Now counting this one right here, so counting that block that I've just taken away, we're going to have this one going forwards by 14. So you've already got your one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've already messed up. 
<laughs> that was good. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There you go, fourteen. I was trying to go for even more then. But there we go. You'll get fourteen from, you know, just counting there all the way to there. Add one onto each, each side. There we go, like that. Then look at the front of the plane, wherever that is there. And back here, starting as this block, counting this one. We're going to go back 18. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Count that one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there you go. Just to prove it. If you guys need that. 18 blocks. I know it's a little bit of a weird way to do it. It's just that it's the way that I wrote it down. Um, we're then going to go in. And we're going to have two blocks. And then we're going to have a one. Like that. Uh, we'll do the same on the other side. So we go. Oh, not like that. There. For some reason, I keep them on a place there. There we go. So we're just going to bring this on. If you get stuck, just look at the other side because you've already built it. So there we go. We'll get like this weird framework. Guess what? We're just going to fill it in. Nice and easy, isn't it? There we go. So there we go. We get that and all of this bit as well. Like this. And there and that. Grab your quartz slabs. So we're just going to put one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, it's just ones on those. At the front of this, one here, one, well, three across the front, and then just one there. This is like the real underbelly of it, where you put the, um, well, most of the cargo and stuff, and I'll show you guys how to do that at the end. But guess what? That's it for layer number three. Okay, so we're now on to layer number four. This is going to be a little bit of a long one, because we're going to be putting in most of the big engine, so that it makes the wings hopefully easier. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so anyway. But what we'll do is we'll come forwards off this slab that we put in here. This is going to go forwards by a total of 22. So it's going forward by quite a lot. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I'm going to double check that as well. Just to make sure that we've got it exactly right. There you go. So 22 blocks. Good. So if you want another reference, it's from this point here. If you count the one on top, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Like that. We're now just going to go back by one block and we're going to have five blocks. So you go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go out again and have 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We're then going to go out again and have four. One, two, three, and four. So you're getting four blocks like that. Don't worry about this gap, we'll we'll sort that out in a second. Now we're going to go 12, uh, not 12, we're going to go 2 across like this. So we're going to go 2 across this part of the wing or the underwing. Uh, this wing is, you know, angled. So, yeah, you're going to have 2 going across this part here. We're then going to have 6 going normal. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then moving inwards, we're going to have 2. So you get 1, 2. So you just move back inwards like that. Move your 2. Then we're going to have a 1. Then we're going to have a 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then we can move in and have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then move in and have 2. 1, 2. There is a lot of stuff, like I said. This is quite a big one. You can see how big the plane actually is now. So I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we're going to move out. I'm going to have a total of 4. Two, three, four, four, like that. So it's difficult to show you guys. Then we've got two going across. One, two, like this. It's two going across there. Then we're going to move out again, and we're going to have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Move in and have two. One, two, and a one. Then a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we are going to move in and have an eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we're going to have a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Okay, so the back, what we're going to do, just fill it up. I just on this higher bit. So there you go. So you get this. And also down here. And also these wings as well. We're going to wing, like, fill these in, not wing these in. I'm uh, going to fill these in, like this. Okay, and all of this bit as well. I just think I'll fill in this wing first. There we go, that. And also on these bits as well. There you go, see at the front. And even this bit is actually going to be filled in because the actual deck that you walk on is here. 
It's just this has a bit of a thicker bit. So that if you were going to, so if you did fill this all in, there we go, if we did fill that in, you actually get an extra block here. You could actually technically do this, or bring this down to make it look like the actual container, uh, the actual, you know, compartment. So you can do like quite a lot of stuff if you wanted to change the floor out and things, but we're going to leave it for the time being. We'll just fill all of this in. There we go. And around here as well. Oh. There you go. All the way around here. All this all this floor. There's tons of filling in this lever level, uh, this level. This layer. So I'm already <laughs> I'm getting hungry. It's lunchtime for me. So I'm recording this before lunch. I don't know why I told you that. <laughs> it's gonna be like people in the future. They're gonna be like, alright, that's good to know. It's weird. Um fine. Right, anyway, what you can do is if you grab your slabs we are not going to put any one uh, only on the front. We're going to have two slabs here. Let's do it on the other side as well. Two slabs there. Then right on this layer here, we're actually going to have five slabs. Is it five slabs? It is 11 slabs. Okay, 11 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's a lot of slabs on this bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then on the wings, what we're going to do is starting from the back. So they go. Good reference picture in there in the back. We're gonna go one, one, two, then five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I did put them on the other side, yeah I did. Okay. Same on this side. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now go all the way to the back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have two slabs here, one slab here, then we're gonna have three slabs, one, two, three, and then we're gonna have three slabs as well, one, two, three. So there you go. I can do it backwards as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. And you got your two right in the end like that. That will give you most of this layer. Now what we're going to do is we'll build the engine or we'll put in where the engine is supposed to go. Um, so I think it's from this four. I'm going to have to double check that it's in line or not. But I think it's one block behind. So like that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's on the that bit there. Yeah, so we're one block back. Uh, see, this layer is too long for me to remember all in one go. Um, <laughs> there we go. So where we've got this four here, just move over by one block, or one, or move back by one block again. Reference picture, and we're gonna have a five block gap. So you get one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do is place a block of wall, and I am gonna have to keep on reference this, this. But you go one, two, three, four, five, and underneath this as well, one, two, three, four, five. Then what we're gonna do is gonna move underneath as well and do exactly the same there. I will have to have a look in a minute, just to make sure I get this all right. And there as well. And I think we can do over the top. Yeah, we can do over the top as well. So let's do that. Just for this bit. Like this. Then grab your quartz stairs. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can actually take out this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that. Then inside this engine, we're just going to push back a couple blocks and put in glowstone. Um, this is just a nice place to hide lighting. It also makes it look like it's glowing a bit if it's if it's flying. But it is a nice place to hide lighting. And I just put iron bars on it. But I don't do it right up to this front bit here. Just give it a little bit of depth there. And I've missed out some stairs. Okay, now I am going to have to go and fly over. I try not to do this in tutorials, but it's sometimes difficult. So we've got two and one there. We won't do this top part because of how it fits into the wing. But I think I've got that. Maybe. Okay, um, so we've got two slabs here. Then we're going to have a block here. We're actually going to have an extra block on each of these bits. Like that. And then <laughs> this block actually goes out an extra one. And I think it goes out an extra one again. So here as well. So you get that. And then you're going to have two slabs on here. Like that. That looks, that looks right, actually. So yeah, that's what you get. A bit weird. There you go. you got your slab. Block, block, double slabs here. Do it on the other side anyway. So we need two. So one, two, three, four, five. Then grab your white wool. One, two, three, four, four, five. Obviously going towards the back. And underneath this as well. And then make this like tube for the bigger one. Really, really big engine. Well, not really, really big, but pretty big engine. And you get your stairs. Chuck all these on. And get rid of that light. Put those on as well. And what's the front? Push this back a couple blocks. Put in your glowstone. Whack in your iron bars. 
Then right across this bit, we're going to have slabs. Then we have blocks on... Oh, not there. Slabs down here, sorry. Then we have a block pushing out. Then a block pushing out again. And on the end of this block, we're going to have two slabs. Like that, like double slabs, like two by two slabs. And up here, a block here and a block there. So that's what we get for the engine pieces so far. They are pretty massive. But hopefully that will make it a little bit easier for the next layer where we're going on to a lot of the wings. Um, we are still doing it layer by layer, so the wings will grow uh, gradually. But let's go on to layer number five. Okay, and now for layer number five. Come to the front. Move forwards by two blocks in total like that. Now, I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yeah, move forwards by two blocks like that. Add one to each side like this. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to add one on the back as well of each of these. Like that. Then we're going to go out and we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm aware that the shaders are kind of messing with the white at the minute, so maybe I'll do that look better. Not particularly, does it? Not really. Um, maybe one of these ones will work. Yeah, that works a little bit better. So there we go. So we get nine right like that. Then we're going to have a 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Now we're going to start working on the wings. So we're going to have two going across. That's directly on top. Then we're going to have a one. Then we're going to have two going across. Then we're going to have a three going across. So back here, one, two, three going across like that. So there you go. You see, two, one, two, three like that. This one is then going to start going back towards the back of the plane. As you can see, reference picture there. Um, how many is this going to go back with? This will be seven in total. So counting this block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Then we're going to move inwards, and we're going to have a one. Then we're going to have a two. One, two. Then connecting onto this one, moving towards the inside of the plane, this will be six. So one, two two, three, four, five, and six. So it should be just one short like that. So that is what you get. A bit complicated. I'm actually just going to do that on the other side straight away. Um, just make sure we can get that. So here, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then here, two, one, two going across, then three going across, one, two, three like this. Then counting this one, we'll go back by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then we're going to have one, two. Then counting this one, we've got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what you'll get. <laughs> it looks really weird. I know. Um, we might as well... Uh, actually, we know, we'll do the rest of the plane first. Then we'll get onto that bit. We're then going to have a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then move inwards, we're going to have 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then move in again, 3 blocks. 1, 2, 3, and then a 1. So there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm getting ahead of myself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There you go. 3 blocks like that. So then fill up these gaps. And I don't think there's any there. These wings as well, fill these up. Like this. And just go directly over these engine pieces as well. Now one thing that I didn't realise is the actual floor of the plane is on this one. So it's got, it's, it's really kind of tall in a way. Um, so I'm going to do it, actually I'll fill in these first and then I'll do it a quick way. Um, I'm going to do it the quick way with world edit, which is just slash slash fill r, oh, fill r, if I get two l's in, and good god, what's on my keyboard today, and I'm just going to do 100, so this is all one layer, if that makes sense, you've, you know what I was saying about having like two blocks, you've actually got three blocks, you can cut through here, and you can, if you had those as slabs, you can even have like an entire, um, entire cargo hold under here you've got three blocks worth so you know you can do lots and lots of stuff if you want to slab this floor up for example and then like make this look like it's going in and then you can even have this up here go into there there you go you can see how much space you've got just from doing this to make it look like there's actually a cargo hold in here and have you know different colored walls 
Might as well show you guys this now because I am anyway. Um, different colored walls for different like suitcases and things. You can just shove them all in there. Um, and you can see how much space you got just by doing that. So it's it's got a lot of space to actually do stuff like that on this one, which is quite kind of cool, I think. I think it's cool. There you go. Now because of my OCD, I'm going to have to change it all back to white wall <laughs> without any gaps underneath. All right, anyway, what we're going to do now is slabs for the front. Come right to the front. We're going to place one here. We're not going to place one here. Well, the next one we'll place two. So there you go. So you've already got your one there. Not there, but two here. Okay, and then if we go to one of the wings, we're going to start from the back of the wing part again. It's going to do two, one, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, like that. Same on the other side. Two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Nice and easy. Uh, we can actually also, in this middle part, just connect in two blocks like that. And that's all we need to do for the engines. So I think it was a lot easier doing it that way. Um, it's usually I try to do it all as part of the wing, and I think that was a lot better technique-wise to do it. So that worked. Right. Go to the back, and we're going to put our slabs. two slabs here. We're not going to put any slabs here. We're going to do one here. We're going to do ten on the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten like that. There we go. We've got there in the end. But that is it for layer number five. So you can see how weird it's looking right now. But yeah, we'll keep on going. Okay, and now for layer number six, comes to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one, and add one to each side, so you get three wide, uh, just like that. We're going to add one block onto the back of each of those blocks, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have five, so one, two, three, four, five, and now fifty-five. Yes, very, very long one, so if you just bring this all the way back, and straight on top, this is the outer wall of the plane, so what we're going to do is we're going to just drag it on top of this bit. I'm going to see how many more we need to like add to it, basically. Okay, so it's 54. If we're directly on top of that last like slab that we put in, put one more block. That's 55. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to move in and have four. One, two, three, four, and then a one. And fill in that gap. And we're also going to do the same on the other side. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And this is a 55, so don't really need to count this one. <laughs> as long as you know where it actually ends up. Oh, not there. Not there either. God. Terrible. Okay, so we get this like that. There we go. So that'll give us the kind of main bit. Uh, now if we go to the front, what we're going to do is we're going to have no slabs on the front part here. We will have a slab right here. And that's it, just for the front part. Now if we go all the way to the back, we'll do the slabs for the back, and then we'll get onto the wing. Or the next layer for the wing anyway. So right in the back, we're going to have one slab here, none on this one. We have one slab here and one slab here. It's not on the end, so there you go. One slab here and one slab here, like that. Okay, now we're going to go onto the wings. It's a little bit complicated. I'm even going to have to. I think we'll have to double check where I actually start placing them because it is just it's just the starting point. Okay, and I just got confused as hell on the wings. So second take of the wings. Let's get this done. Right, look at your wings, your, where your engine is. You're going to go two, one, two. Then behind this two, we're going to put a two there. So it's like, oh, not there. Like an offset two, if that makes sense. So it's on this one, one block back to there. Now what we're going to do is, looking towards the front of the ship, uh, front of the plane, not ship, <laughs> we're going to have another two. So you've got two, two. We're going to go one, one, two going across, like that. Then one, one. Now we're going to have a four going the other way. So one, two, three, four. So we get two across, two across, one, one, two across, one, one, four normal. Then connecting on the back, we're just going to put four blocks. One, two, three, four. So connect onto that piece. That makes this five in total. One, two, three, four, five, as you can see there. Then we're going to do, looking towards the back of the plane, go into here, and we're going to have four. One, two, three, four, like that. So there you go. Now let's look in the front. You kind of see how that tucks in. One, two, three, four. Then looking at the side here, this is why these wings are so stupidly difficult and why angling them is a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks. So you go one, two, three. So that's three in total. Again, there is an aerial view. I'll always go back to this view so that you guys can do the same <coughs> and make sure it all lines up. Oh, good God. Right, so there you go. You get that. They're going to have a one, 
two, and then three, and it should be on the outside like that. Okay. Now, what I recommend doing is leaving that there while we do it on the other side, just in case I need to look at it. <laughs> Not for you guys, obviously. But again, you got two, one, two. So there you go. Two here, like that. Uh, not there, sorry. Wow, if I actually start in the right place. Two right there, like that. Then we're going to have another two. And we're going to go one, one, two going across. Then we're going to have a one, one. So again, there's that as well. If you get stuck, look at the other side that you've just done. And try and mirror it. Or, or if you've got world edit, just copy and paste it uh, and flip it and stuff. So you go one, one. Then we're going to have a four, I think it is. Yeah, four, one. Two, three, four. Then looking outside to the wing, we're going to add an extra four blocks. One, two, three, four. So that gives us five in total. One, two, three, four, five in total. Then we're going to look towards the back of the plane. We're going to have four blocks here. One, two, three, and four. Like that. And then again, I'm going to go to this top kind of view. Then again, looking out of the plane, we're going to go one, two, three. So you've got three blocks going across this way. Like that. Then we're going to go one, two, and three blocks. And that's what you'll get. These like little stupid wings. And now what we're gonna do is obviously fill these up because we can. There we go. So you might as well get these all sorted. So you can see how much more difficult and why why that you don't you guys don't even want to know what I've written down on paper just to figure that out in a clear way that I can read it really quickly. I've got it with my own shorthand. That's what you have to do with these. <laughs> Whenever I'm teaching these, I'd usually come up with a a shorthand for certain ways to do things. So hopefully that wasn't too difficult. It shouldn't have been. Hopefully. Maybe. There we go. That's, we've still got another two of those. Damn it. So we've still got lots of those to do. So you'll get used to it by the end. Right. On the end. Four slabs. One, two, three, four. Not five. There you go. Just four slabs. So you go here again. One, two, three, four. On the inside wing. Just slab it up. That's right. Slab it. Slab it really hard. You can also make it smoother as well by gradually doing the slabs. It's just that in a tutorial, it's a nightmare. If you wanted to, you could, you know, do like this, where you get more of these in. You know, that would make it look a lot better. But um, tutorial-wise, it's it's a nightmare. That's why I don't do it on mine. Uh, as you probably noticed, even that section that we just did with full blocks was a nightmare. So that's why I keep it simple. <laughs> right, but there you go. That is it for layer number six. Okay, and now for layer number seven. Come to the front, place one block directly on top of the last one. Then we're going to go back by normal. Just going to go one, four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to have 58 blocks. So again, I'm going to do it uh, the kind of easy way, and I'll, I'll show you guys where that ends up. We keep on dragging this one back. Hopefully you guys can see it as well. I have obviously changed in my shaders just to make sure you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, even with default... No shaders, it's still quite difficult to see the white, but oh well. There you go, so you're just going to add one block. Nice and easy there. Just select that one. So, next what we have is five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we got four. One, two, three, four. Then two. One, two, like that. So we'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blah, 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 all the way to 58. <laughs> There's no point in me counting out that. It's just force of habit why I do. There we go, so if we get that to there, there, like that. So, slabs at the front, what we have is just a slab in here, and a slab in here, both are like on the bottom part of it. So you can see there, it kind of like makes a, well, it looks like a block, but it isn't. Uh, it's just offset it a little bit, it makes it quite interesting. So, if we go to the back, what we have, whenever we get there, uh, is a one, so we've got one slab here, and then we've got no slab here, We've got one slab here, like that. So no slab there, one slab there. Now we're going to get on to the wing, and I've already forgotten the position of it. So <laughs> I've written this down quite quite clearly. Uh, there we go, so it's on that last bit. Okie doke. Uh, is it on that? Yeah, it's on that last bit. Okay, so let's try this one. Uh, if there's a cut, it means I've gone wrong. But here we go. What we'll do first is clear down that rope weather, because that is impossible to see in. Right, so you're going to have two blocks on top of here, just on top of that slab and on top of that block, then put one there, so right on the end, and then add one extra onto it. Then what we're going to do is look towards the front of the ship, we're going to go one and one, then have two going across like that. So you've got four, one, one, two, like that. 
Then we're going to have a 1. Then we're going to have a 3 going the normal way. 1, 2, 3. So there you go, you get that. So that, hopefully that makes sense. Look towards the, you know, out where the wing would be pointing to. And we're going to add an extra 2 blocks on, so we get 3 blocks in total. So you get 1, 2, 3 like that. There you go. We're going to move inwards. I'm going to have 2 blocks like that. So inwards and have 2. So there you go. Inwards towards this, this part of the wing here. And then we're going to have another 2. 1, 2. Then we're going to have a 1. Then we have 2 going the normal way. And just an extra block in here, which will make this a 2. So that's what we'll get. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Again, really just, just weird to and difficult to explain or write down. <coughs> so there we go. So, other side. Put two blocks on top of those ones. Add one on the back. Add one onto this part here. Then we're going to do is we're going to go one and one. Then two across like that. There we go. So you get that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a one. Then a three going the normal way. So normal directional way like that. Then looking out to where the, the wing is pointing, just add two more blocks so we get three in total. Then moving towards this part here, have a two, like that. And another two, one, two, like that. So there you go, here's some, that shot again. And also a one. Then we're going to have the normal way, two here, and then just add an extra block which will make this one look like a two, it's connected into that four. So then, as we did before, we're just going to fill this up with our wool. So it's solid. Right on the end, we're going to have two slabs on the back pieces. So only on the back bits, just two slabs. Uh, actually, on the side as well, we're just going to do what we did before, which is just slab around it. <laughs> just slab it up. So there you go. Same on the other side, so just fill this up. There and there. 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 And then we got these ones here, two there. And then slab around this. Slab it up. Like that. What we're going to do next is we're going to put in the doors and the windows because we can actually do that now. So I'm going to have to just keep on looking over here because I know roughly how it's going to work, but I don't know exactly how it's going to work. So we've got these two slabs here. Just on that last one here, we're going to put a door. If you can't do this on the Xbox versions or whatever, just, just put a block in. You know, just just do that. It's fine. Then we're going to miss a block and put in a, a window. We do four of these. Then we're going to cut out another door. Now, I don't know how many we've got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven of those. So one, two, three, three, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Cut out another door right next to it. Not, oh my god, right. <coughs> that was good. Right, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, I think it is. Yeah, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Next one's a door. Then we've got four. So one, two, three, and four. Cut out that door. That rhymes really badly. Okay, and that is it. That is actually it. So do the same on the other side for that bit. I won't show you guys how to do it exactly because it is just, you know, look at the other side and then, you know, change it or whatever. So yeah, do all of that and we will get on to layer number eight. Okay, and now for layer number eight. So what you're going to need is black stained glass, or if you don't have that, just normal glass will do fine. Come to the front, we're going to leave two of these blocks. So there you go, you get to this. So you've got to leave two blocks there. So if you put in a white, it'll, it kind of makes sense more, I guess. Uh, just put in a black stained glass piece on each side there, so you get three across. And you get one. Behind this, we're going to have four pieces of white. So one, two, three, and four. So yeah, it does tuck in a little bit. Then next, what we're going to do is we're going to have 54 blocks. So what we're going to do is see where this ends up doing, uh, ends up going. It will cover up the glass and it will cover up the doors as well. And I've got a feeling that this one actually curves in. This is where it starts to go back in on itself. So if we put it one block behind, you'll get 55. So yeah, we just get to 54, which is right there. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have seven. So move in and seven, one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you can have a five. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have two blocks right here. One, two. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this fifty-four. So you know, drag this all the way on top. Yeah, I'll go back quite far as well. So you go. Keep on dragging that one across. All the way. Oh, there we go. That far. One, two, three, and four. Put that in there like that. 
Front is really, really easy. All we're going to need is just a slab here. And that's it. Now, what you can also do, obviously, for this cockpit part is, you know, fill it up. And also, what I usually do is raise this cockpit up so you can actually see out of it. Um, I don't exactly know where I've done it there, but it doesn't matter too much. You'll be able to see wherever you want to separate it out. You might want to actually separate it out here. Um, so then you have you know, a small, like, little gap in here and then it goes up or or you can have it the other way around and have it already raised and goes up into here you know it doesn't really matter whatever you you guys kind of go with um, I'm actually gonna just delete that because always I'll forget about it so there we go we get that um, back slabs anyway yeah if we keep on going so right on the back not gonna put one here not gonna put one here I'm gonna put one here on the lower part not on the higher part so the part just to make that like look like a block and also up here as well so you go slab there and a slab there like that. Now again, I'm going to have to double check to make sure I know exactly where we're putting this block uh, for the wings. But it's the last bit of the wings, so you'll be happy to hear that. Uh, I hate these wings. <laughs> I really do hate them. But there we go. What we're going to do, place the block directly on top of that little slab and go to the side. So you're going to go out. Then we're going to look towards the front of the ship. We're going to have two going out as well. So there you go. Two and two. Then we're going to have one, one. Then three go in the Norway. Like that. So you got two, two, one, one, three like this. Then on the back, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have a one block here. There's the three blocks. Just put one right in the middle of it. And then we're gonna look towards the back. We're gonna have a one. Then we're gonna have two going across. One, two, then a one, then a two going across like that. Can you kind of see how that works? That's the best we can kind of do. There you go, like that. So we're just gonna fill this up. I might as well finish this one off already. Grab your court slab, put a slab there and a slab there, and that's it. That's it for the wing, so there we go. Let's do it on the other side. So, on the other side, find where your slab is, place a block directly on top, and push that one out like that. Then we're going to look towards the front, and we're going to have another two. We're going to have a one, one, and then three blocks going the normal way. So we get that. Hopefully you can see that. If you need to pause, so it's pause. And right in the middle of this, place a block like that. Look towards the back, and we're going to have another one. We have a two going across, one, two. And then we're going to have a one, and then we're going to have a two going across like that. So if we're looking at the front, there you go. if you need to pause again, feel free to do so. Fill this in, and then grab your slabs, put a slab there, put a slab there. We're done with the wings, thank God. So it's not too bad, I don't think, um, once you, you kind of get the hang of it. But that'll give you a nice angle on them. Again, you can do the slab thing where you, where you basically half this wing um, into into slabs. That'll make it look a lot better, but it's difficult to actually show you guys how to do that. <laughs> That's why I haven't done it. Anyway, let's get on to layer number nine. Okay, and now for layer number nine. So we're getting there. So come to the front and move in with one block here. Then what you're going to do is going to have a two. So one, two. Now you're going to have 61 blocks. So what I'm going to do... You just see how long this actually goes. So it's on the inside now. You can see it's starting to curve over. So we're starting to do the roof. Or at least gain there. Uh, which is always good. So there we go. So keep on bringing this one back. I don't know how far it actually goes. If we bring it to this point here. So it's 56. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that will give you 61. So there you go. Nice and easy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the little winglets. Which are on the side. So we're going to have a 1. There you go. And then I think... Oh, normal two, yep. So then a normal two. One, two. Then we're going to have two going the other way. So that's what we get. One, two that way, two going this way. Now we're going to have five sets of one. So one, two, three, four, and five. Five sets of one like that. Now I'm going to have to have a look again because this is a nightmare. <laughs> I think it's connected onto. No, not that piece. Which piece is on? Yeah, so it's continuing on. Okay. So then we've got is a two this way so you got one two like that then we're going to go start moving inward so look towards the back and we're going to go one then two going across the other way two going across the other way two going across the other way like that so that's what you get so we got one two normal two going across five ones then two going across one two going across two going across two going across like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to move in. We're going to have one right here as well. It's a bit weird. Then we're just going to have 
Ooh, I think it's a normal two here. One, two like that. That looks right. Yeah. So there you go. So we're going to do the same on the other side as well. So I'll just drag this block all the way. It's a little bit weird. Well, it is very, very weird. Not just a little bit. But um, as with most of these planes, the more complex, the more the, the better I get at the shapes, the more <laughs> more difficult the tutorials, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty pretty true actually. The simpler they are, then yeah, I'm gonna have easy shapes. We've got one here. We've got two going normal, two going across. Then we've got five sets of one. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then you got two going this way. Look towards the back. And then we're going to have a one, then three sets of two. So one, two, and three. Then you got a one back in there. So that's what you'll get. It looks cool though, doesn't it? So that's all that really matters. Um, I think these just go straight on top. How does this actually work here? I think it just is tucking right underneath, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Don't know why I need to check that. I shouldn't really need to check that. So yeah, any empty space just, you know fill up on that level and there isn't any slabs as well so that's alright again you can make the slabs like halfway through you can make them turn into slabs or something that's completely up to you it'll be fine there we go like that so for the back what slabs are we going to have just one like that and that's it we don't even need any in here I guess we could put some in there uh, but I didn't in the end I think we just have one there so that's it fly all the way to the front and what we got for the front is one 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 so one 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 then with the rest of them cover it over with your um, what's it called carpet white carpet just to cover that over it gives you a different level it, it, it's what I've been using lately to uh, smooth it out uh, so you don't actually see this glass it looks like it is covered over I mean you could if you want to you know let, let people see this glass that wouldn't matter too much or yeah it's up to you. Um, I, I prefer to cover it up, I think. I'm not really too sure. It's difficult. Right, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to leave two of these. And I'm going to put slabs on. So there we go. You've got to leave two of these. I'm going to have slabs right on the side. Let's drag this all the way back. Uh, there is 50 of these, but you're not going to need to count it. Don't worry. You won't need to. Because it is exactly too short on the other side as well. There we go. Nice and easy, isn't it? So too, too short here. Slabs all along this side as well. And we'll get there eventually. Uh, and keep on bringing those across. Too, too short. So let's get on to the roof layer. Okay, and now for layer number 10, which is going to be the last layer. We're also going to do this last. Uh, why can't I never remember what this is called? You guys you guys know. You, you always comment. You, you specifically. Anyway come to the front what we're going to do is we're actually going to be three blocks back so put in an extra couple of blocks you got one two three then you're going to grab your quartz slab and we're just going to have two of these here then we're going to have a total of 51 slabs so i'll see where we end up uh but it's not all the way to the back that's what i do know so if we keep going if we keep on going for quite a bit there we go so that gives us 54 so one, two, three. So you might actually have to count this one. Oh no, you went. Okay, so where we've, where we've got this slab on the side, just just push it back by one. So if you brought that in line to here, it'd be 52. So it's your 51. Like that, so that'll make it a little bit easier. Then just move this in and have two slabs. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So here. And bring that all the way. Oh. Okay, eventually. There we go. Let's keep on bringing this one as well. Two there. And then what we're going to do is put your four blocks in here for that up. And of course, this roof is all going to be slabs as well. So fill that in. And this gives you a very, very big, <laughs> a very, very high roof for a plane, uh, which enables you to put in like lights and things. Because you've got it this big, you can actually just grab, you know, glowstone and put that in. And you can even have like slabs across here if you want to. Or you could have your baggage here. So you can see where it goes. Or you could have the lights on the sides. Like that. You know, play around with a couple ideas for it. But you've got enough space for it up here. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do like an ideas video at some point. Right, anyway. The rest of this is going to be down on your wall. So just fill this in. 
right up to that point. There, and all the way back here as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start working on this piece here, which is the last bit. We are first going to have 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to actually make this 3 high at the back, 1, 2, 3. We're going to move out and go 3 high, 1, 2, 3. Move out and go 4 high, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there you go, you get this. Now what we're going to do is this one is going to go forward by 7. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And all we're going to do is just do a step pattern here. So you're just going to keep on dragging them until you get steps. Like that. That's what you should have. There, and then just grab your quartz stairs and whack them on here. This is it. Bang, 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 bang. Guess what, guys? That's it. <laughs> it's not too bad. So anyway, like I said before, you know, play around with the the underside to do that. Uh, with how many blocks you got, because this this is where the actual floor level is. So you know you can cut out a pretty massive chunk to get that uh, to look really really good. Um, ideas for interiors, of course, I haven't done this one specifically, but I've done them before. So if you have a look at something like the Boeing 747 or Airbus A380, I think I might have done a rough seating plan. I can't remember. Or just look at real pictures. Look at real pictures is probably the best one, and then you can come up with your own ideas for it. Uh, and then it comes unique. But if you guys do use this on a builder or server, please do give me credit for my design. Just shove up a nice sign in the cockpit, for example, saying original design by Lord Dacker. And then put a sign next to it saying designed by you. That will help me out loads. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.